Hello again, Freedom Fighters. Today we're going to be talking about the build that I've been running post patch. We all know about the railgun nerfs, the breaker nerfs, and the fine tune adjustments of all the other guns, too. So, a little disclaimer this build it has been tweaked for group play. I tried it with, uh, with solo hell dives, but unfortunately, it does pose a challenge to use it while being doable. It is, uh, it is a bit harder. I don't know what builds are good for solos now. But we'll we'll experiment along the way. So without further ado, let's get right to it. For my primary, I still run the slugger. The slugger has been shadow buffed this patch. Uh, they didn't say it in the patch notes. What they just said is that they buffed the Punisher to have more damage and more ammo. What they didn't say that the slugger also got buffed. So it now has more ammo if you didn't know. Before, it only had 40. Now, it already has 60, which is really good. Obviously, the drawback is that when you get mobbed, it is uh, very tough to clear that out because it is a pump-action shotgun. But for automatons, you're not going to be... You don't want to be facing mobs anyway because you will you will die. Uh, like, 8 times out of 10, you're going to die when you're getting mobbed. For terminids, I'd still use this. I like uh, taking down mediums with it. It is very efficient. Um, for the smaller ones, I just tend to use my secondary, which we'll be talking about in a bit. For my secondary, I still love using the Redeemer. It has a fast rate of fire, uh, decent magazine capacity, and decent damage. Also, you can run away while shooting. So, Senator, really good. I like this. The only drawback that I find that it has a very long reload animation. So, until they add like a speed loader to this thing, I don't think I'm going to be using this. While it has really good damage, the whole point of having a secondary is that it is faster than reloading. So, if you have to reload this constantly, it, it, it kind of, you know, pulls you back. Let's talk grenades. High explosive for my automaton build. For my terminid, I like going incendiary because I love burning bugs. People argue or people say that impact is the best against automaton. I know it is the best, but me being a dumb player, I cannot seem to lob it inside uh, outposts. So clearly it is a skill issue. That's why I stick to the high explosive so that my teammates can't see me miserably failing to, you know, throw the nades inside the thing. So, this is where we mix it up a bit. We all know about the railgun nerfs. We can talk about it in depth if you want to, but I really don't want to. So, TLDR, it is significantly weaker. So, what I use now is the recoilless rifle. It is both for terminids and auto uh, automatons. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for solo. This is for team play. Because if when you're reloading, you do, if you don't have a loader, uh, it takes a little bit of time to reload. It deals a lot of damage. You can take objectives with it from far away. Uh, of course, it penetrates armor. So overall, I would I would say it is a very good pick. You could argue that the EAT is also really good, but there are so many times that I just can't wait for it to drop that I already need it. So to uh, let me know about your experience. If what what do you think is better for the stratagems? Because I am using the recoilless rifle and I am using up my backpack space, I have one slot for an extra offensive stratagem. So what I what I typically run, especially against terminids, I go I still go rail cannon and the 500 kg. But what I added is the 120 mm he barrage. The latest patch buffed this. They decreased the spread. So now it is actually quite reliable when destroying uh, hive nests. Uh, we're talking about mediums and lights though. For heavies, I don't have an experience where it cleared it, but I've, I've cleared some nests just by throwing this in and just running away. So it's kind, it's kind of a big plus because you don't have to run in there and just you know try to eat your nades inside. So I would say it, is a, it, it was a good buff.
for automatons what i like to use is the rail cannon the rail cannon is really is, is my old reliable bro this is my old reliable stratagem it takes down hulks tanks and towers very easily it's it's like a cheat code laser is the next cheat code it's it, it is a crutch I, I i have no qualms why it only has a limit of three it is really powerful it is like a free clear of outposts when you throw it in there so i do suggest if you want to have an easier run you may run this against the bots uh for the third one i would i still run the 500 kg but occasionally i run the 100 mm rocket pods just because i would love to have a more precise airstrike people argue that the airstrike is better uh i haven't really used the airstrike but let me know let me know anyways guys that's the build that i've been running post patch hope you guys enjoy uh you could give it a try i obviously don't think that it's the best one but it has enough fun factor for me uh, that i love using it to support my teammates and to also um, deal enough damage to carry myself so let me know in the comments down below what builds are you guys running post patch so we could give it a whirl last time you guys were kind enough to share your builds i tried it unfortunately the arc thrower feels i don't feel like the arc thrower is for me 100 percent a skill issue i don't know how to use it but i do see why people love it it shreds uh chargers it kills a lot of the mobs uh, without you actually shooting them so yeah uh that's not sh there's not much to say so go ahead and spread freedom hell diver